Welcome to Raw Online. Today class is about tibiofibular joint. Learning objectives: uh, You have to describe and demonstrate the type, articular surfaces, ligaments, relations, movements, blood supply, and the nerve supply of the tibiofibular joint. This is the tibiofibular joint. This joint is formed between the. This is the tibia and the fibula. So this is the proximal tibiofibular joint. And this is the distal tibiofibular joint. And this is considered, this is the middle, that interosseous membrane is there, no? This is the middle tibiofibular joint. So, we have a three tibiofibular joint. One is the proximal and distal tibiofibular joint. And in between these two, we have another joint which is known as the middle tibiofibular joint. So, today class is about these three joints. First, we look at the proximal, this is the proximal tibiofibular joint. Any joint, you should know what is the type of the joint. This joint is a synovial joint and it is what type? It, it is a plain variety. So, this is the synovial joint. The proximal tibiofibular joint is a synovial joint and what type? It, it is a plain variety. What are the articular ends? There are two articular ends. This is the articular facet. On the lateral tibial condyle articulates with the articular facet on the head of the fibula. See, look here, this is the head of the fibula and this is the tibia. Okay. The proximal tibiofibular joint is formed between the articular facet on the lateral tibial condyle and the articular facet on the head of the fibula. So, these are the two articulating ends. So, now we have seen about the articulating end and the type of the joint. Now, we are going to see how this joint is maintained in position or what is the stability of this proximal tibiofibular joint. The ligaments of the proximal tibiofibular joint, the first ligament as we know it is the capsule. So, in this capsule will enclose the joint and attached along the margins of the facet. The inner surface is lined by the synovial membrane. So, if you see this is the this picture is the cross section of the proximal tibiofibular joint and this is tibia and this is the fibula, head of the fibula and this is the articular cavity. The articular cavity is the inner surface is lined by the synovial membrane and then this is enclosed by a capsule. So, this is the capsule and it encloses the joint and attached along the margins of the facet and the inner surface is lined by the synovial membrane. What is the next ligament? of the proximal tibiofibular joint is the anterior ligament of the tibiofibular joint. It, stretch, it stretches from the head of the fibula to the front of the lateral condyle of the tibia. So, this is the tibia fibula and this is the tibia. This is the anterior ligament of the proximal tibiofibular joint. So, it extends from the or it stretches from the head of the fibula to that of the front of the lateral condyle of the tibia. If you look at this, this is the posterior ligament of the proximal tibiofibular joint. It passes upward from the neck of the fibula to the posterior aspect of the lateral condyle of the tibia. Look at this picture. This is the proximal, this is the proximal tibiofibular joint. So, this is the head of the tib, uh, fibula and this is the posterior ligament of the fibular head that is the posterior ligament of the proximal tibiofibular joint. This is the cross section. So, this is the cross section what we see here. This is the picture showing the cross section of the proximal tibiofibular joint. So, there are three ligaments that plays an important role in maintaining the stability of the proximal tibiofibular joint. One is the capsule, then other is an anterior ligament of the tibiofibular joint and next is the posterior ligament of the tibiofibular joint. So, this is the posterior ligament of the head of the fibula. Okay. Next, we will see what are the other ligaments apart from these three ligaments, what are the other ligaments or we have the lateral collateral ligament of the knee joint. This is the lateral collateral ligament of the knee joint and then we have the biceps femoris tendon. This biceps femoris tendon provides a reinforcement as it gets inserted into the fibular head. So, they also give uh, stability to the uh, proximal tibiofibular joint. Okay. So, this is the posterior proximal tibiofibular joint and then you have the 
lateral collateral this is the lateral collateral ligament of this one is the lateral collateral ligament of the ligament of the knee joint this is the popliteus tendon and this one is the biceps femoris tendon the last one is the biceps femoris tendon this tendon comes and get uh, insert into the head of the fibula so these two this lateral collateral ligament of the knee joint and the biceps femoris tendon gives a additional stability to the proximal tibio fibula joint so we have totally the four uh, four ligaments for the proximal tibio fibula joint one is the capsule another is the anterior ligament next is the posterior ligament and apart from these three we have the lateral collateral ligament of the knee joint and biceps femoris tendon now we'll come to the what is the arterial supply of this proximal tibio fibula joint the arteries that's of the proximal tibio fibula joint is first one is the inferior lateral genicular artery this is the inferior lateral genicular artery and then we have the anterior tibial recurrent artery this is the anterior tibial recurrent artery these two arteries they supply the or they give the nourishment to the proximal tibio fibular joint next we will come to the nerve supply see nerve supply of the proximal tibio fibular joint first nerve is that nerve to the popliteus so this is the nerve to the popliteus and the common fibular nerve these two nerves so this is the nerve to the popliteus and this is the common fibular nerve these two nerves they supply the uh, proximal tibio fibular joint this is again the same picture showing so this is about the proximal tibio fibular joint so it, it is a type is a plain variety of the synovial joint and then it is an articulating facet is one in the lateral part of the lateral condyle of the tibia and the uh, head of the fibula and then it has a uh, ligaments and capsule anterior ligament posterior ligament and then we have the uh, lateral collateral ligament of the knee joint and the biceps tendon and then arterial supply is by the inferior lateral genicular artery and the anterior tibial recurrent artery and then nerve supply is by the common uh, fibular artery a fibular nerve and then nerve to the popliteus next we'll come to the second joint that is the distal tibio fibular joint we have seen the proximal tibio fibular joint now we are going to see about the distal tibio fibular joint this can be said as an inferior tibio fibular joint either a distal or a inferior tibio fibular joint 